At this time, I invite the children forward, and I need you to sit over here on these pews for a very special children's message. Um, Mary Beth Allen this week was one of our leaders, and one night she did it at what we called an imagination station, and it uh, got our attention, and hopefully it's going to get our attention this morning as well. So come on up, Mary Beth. Okay, can you hear me? Uh, we had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, this was demonstrating God's power to comfort us. Do y'all remember what this one was? <laughs> All right, this container of water represents us, okay? And we talked about that sometimes we have situations in our lives that bring us stress or discomfort. And so I suggested that they offer some things that stress you out. You remember? Raise your hand now. Okay, Skylar, tell me something that makes you uncomfortable, that upsets you. All right. So every time something stressful happens, we add some stress to the to the pot. Okay, Donald, your brother wakes you up. There's some more stress. It's not looking good, Andrew. Yeah, the death of your mom. And that, that's these are things that you know, and that's for all of us. Got anything, Dakota? Oh, okay. Let's put some more squirts in there for that one. Yeah. All right. So uh, somebody calls you a name. Got anything? Yeah. Um, now will you wait just a second. Yep. Well, I had three brothers, so I'm taking all my colors. So here we are. All, now look at our nice container. It's full of ugly ugliness. So this is all the discomfort in our life. Well, here we go. Let's see if I can get this in. So we're adding dry ice to this warm water. Okay. The dry ice represents God and the bubbles, his comfort that he can give to us. Okay. Now, unfortunately, sometimes the situations don't always change, but the bubbles are representation of God's comfort. And when we're comforted by God, we're also able to help comfort other people when we see them in need. What, Donald? No, you can't get one this time. Okay. So let's bow our heads for a prayer, okay? says, Dear God, when we face tough times, big challenges, and scary situations, thank you for comforting us. When we're sad, we're alone, we're angry, thank you for comforting us. When we don't know what to do or we're afraid to try something new, thank you for comforting us. And when our friends and families need comfort, thank you for giving us the power to comfort them. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. So do you want we just to leave this up here going? <laughs> I think it'll quit in a minute. <laughs>